Walking is one way to do it. Okay. But if you just open your eyes, there it is. You can make your own shitty little shit baby just by looking at it and kicking it and hurting it. And that shitty little shit baby is yours. Wow. Nobody told me I was playing Outlast 2 again. Ooh, I don't like that. Hold on. I'm expecting you to hide something back here, so I'm gonna- oh! Find it! Alright, cool. I didn't want to talk to any of you anyway. Assholes. Oh, what is that? I just decided I want to go check that alleyway first. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay. Wait, is this it? Oh, fucking hell, dude. I can't see anything. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I've changed my mind. Changed my mind. Changed my mind. Don't want to go in there. <laughs> I'm too scared. Oh, my God. What the? Oh, what well, those people? They're people. comfortable right now. One of you is gonna move. Buddy. What? I'm not your you buddy, pal. Out. I'm not your pal, friend. Come on, buddy. I'm not your buddy, jackass. What? Who's talking to me? I saw something. Someone in the streets. Something I got out of there quick, but my god, it was like a furnace. I got turned around. I don't know where I am. What the hell happened to this city? And why can't I remember? I don't know what's happening. I don't know if I'm just crazy or if this is actually like some sort of supernatural element of the game, but you're gonna make me go back out there, aren't you? Okay, cool. I'm sure that guy right by the door ain't gonna jump scare me! <laughs> oh! The stairs are gone! Awesome! Where am I supposed to go now? Do you want me to go into the abyss of death and dark now? Okay, you do. You do. Awesome. Fuck. Fuck. Go in here, I suppose. I'm hoping I eventually get used to this and I stop getting nauseous, but, I mean... Okay. It's probably just wishful thinking. I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. Little fireflies. Oh god, I can't see. Keep your eyes open, Janae. Keep your eyes open. Don't bitch out. Okay. Every time I enter into like a dark abyss-like area like that in VR, I just feel compelled to shut my eyes because I feel like something's gonna hurl out of the darkness right in my face. In 3D. I can't handle it, but it's like, it takes every ounce of my being to not shut my eyes. Oh, I don't like this at all! Oh my god. Oh, fuck you. Stay on, light. Epileptic seizure warning. Oh, 
Oh god. I can't see. The light is flickering too much. I can't see. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Okay, it's not coming. It's not coming. Oh my god, I'm so on edge. I don't know what those things are. Wendigo. I don't know. Don't know what those are, but I'll take them. You better not be fucking behind me. Okay. Oh boy. Yep, I'm just gonna do this in intervals, just like this. No! I'm falling! No, fuck off! Go away, please! Go away! I am not the droid you're looking for! Move along! What are you- Do you expect me to do something about this game? I can't go back! I can't go back! Stay there, please! I'll go this way! Bye! I'll be with you in a moment! I killed this asshole for wearing my face. It was stitched right into the, onto the front of his fat head. Professional job, you could barely see the seams. Killed him in an alley and cut off what was mine. That's disturbing. Okay, Hannibal Lecter is leaving me notes in boxes. Awesome. You're a curious one, aren't you? Okay, don't jump down on me, please. Um, if you could just stay there, that'd be awesome. I'm gonna go into this alley. There you go. That's right. Fear me. Oh, fuck. Okay, it's time, it's time to be afraid. It's time to be afraid. It's time for me to be afraid. It's time for me to be afraid. He's not coming. Good. Okay. Oh god. So, so far, this game is like a- it's a walking simulator. Kind of like everybody's gone to the rapture or the impatient. You are not following me. Okay. But, uh, so far it's scarier than the impatient. <laughs> Just keep moving. Just keep moving. things and what's the story okay bye good that's the direction I wanted you to go in good lord I am very on edge now. Oh, wait a minute! This is where he just was! He was looking at me! From right here! Okay. Steady. Keep it cool. 
Lack a cucumber. Oh, hi. Still don't know what those are. Those batteries. Where the fuck did that come from? Where the fuck did that come from? Stop! I don't like hearing things, and I don't know where they're coming from. Oh, that music ain't good. Oh, that music ain't good. I think, I think, I think I'm, I think I better get ready to run. Somebody totally didn't die here. I can't open it. I can't open it. Okay. This place is starting to make less and less sense. And they're following me. Toy, like this little glow worm toy and um you know i put it like on the on the lamp you know help it to like light it up at night and you know it'll stay warm and it wouldn't make the room so dark i didn't really like dark rooms but it was more of like scary movies which i knew was fake but as a kid you still have this imagination and everything yep i don't know where my little glow worm is i guess he got lost Yeah, same. I play I play lots of scary games, obviously. I'm playing one right now. But, uh, I can't handle scary movies. Because I have no control over what's going on in scary movies. I just have to sit there and take it. And I hate that. That, that feeling of helplessness, even just watching something happen. I hate it. When you give me the option to try and run away or fight back against the monsters, it actually makes it easier. So, scary movies, scary TV shows... The only real scary movies I've seen are the first uh, Brendan Fraser mummy movie. I saw the first one. And I actually liked it. That, that, that was actually a good one. It scared the shit out of me first time, but I actually liked it. And then uh, the first Paranormal Activity movie. And there's a, uh, there's a Shia LaBeouf movie called Disturbia, which is really good. If you haven't seen it, it's a very su suspense type of like mystery, thriller, I guess sort of horror movie. No, it's, I wouldn't classify it as horror, but it's definitely scary. And uh, it's really good. So if you haven't seen the, the movie Disturbia, watch it. It's really good. And now back to what we're doing. Okay. Now I can go in. Don't know why I'm going in, but now I can go in. All right. Okay. I'm not gonna like what this says, am I? You finally make it home and it's all fucked up. Someone's been in your place, touching your stuff, leaving shit that's not yours lying around. And the girl at the door is like, no baby, no, it's cool, you just forgot. Please, baby. So is this like PTSD and I just, I'm confused and I'm stuck in my own personal hell? Is that what's going on? Oh no. That literally sounds like it's behind me. Oh, do I have to follow you? Because I really don't want to do that. Okay. Let me just... There we go. Okay. Oh, I feel like they're everywhere. Oh, these guys really remind me of Outlast 2. Val's... Val's guys? Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I feel like he's going to kill me. I'm going to go this way. Oh, 
Oh god, they're everywhere! Wait! Oh god. I'm pinned right now. I don't know what to do. They're going back and forth on set paths. That makes me think I need to get by them without being seen. I played a lot of stealth games. When AI follows predetermined paths, it means the game is telling you go around them. I'm just gonna go this way. I'm just gonna go this way. I have to leave before it comes back. Oh shit. What is with my neck? What the fuck? <laughs> I cannot fucking see. Okay. Oh shit. Go me, idiot! Go! Oh, I hear them all over the fucking place. Where am I going? Up here. Go around, idiot! Okay. I will go in well lit room. is it doing and should I just turn around and leave? I feel like I should just turn around and leave. So I'm gonna turn around and leave. Yep. If there's anything to drink become human taught me, it's go on your first instinct. My first instinct was telling me to fucking leave. I am leaving. Oh my god. Oh, there he is again. Okay, yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave that guy alone, bruh. I'm just gonna leave him alone. Alright, I'm not getting as nauseous. I'm I'm using the stick more and I'm I actually feel a lot better. I'm not completely unnauseous, but it's tolerable. Okay. Which way am I going? Game said I'll know when to run. I haven't reached that conclusion yet. I feel like because this game also has a 2D mode, maybe it wasn't originally built for VR. And then when they saw the success of VR, they were like, oh, maybe we could make our game VR too. And so now, obviously, the quality is kind of suffering. It's very effective. This game is really scary, and those monsters are infinitely more disturbing in VR, I'm sure. But, no. Oh. Just, you know, walking down the street, it just shows how people are. I hate to use the word hate, but sometimes you just have to hate people for how they are, the way they are. 
It's yeah. not because it's the way their mother and their father raised them. It's just the way they choose to act. Even though their mother and their father treated them well, they choose to be mean and evil because they don't get things their way. Point. Yes, I remember. <laughs> Back to Detroit. I remember, uh, I am all caught up on all of Brian Deckhart's uh, Detroit streams, his first playthrough and his Red Connor playthrough. Um, he, at this point, I don't know how much later you guys will be seeing this, but uh, he's streaming God of War right now, so I can't watch because I want to play that game myself too. If you guys want to see a playthrough of God of War in the future, I have been recommended it highly. So, uh, yeah, let me know if you want to see God of War, but... In one of his playthroughs, um, Amelia said she hated a certain character, and Brian's like, you don't hate them. <laughs> and Amelia's like, okay, fine. I, I, I really don't like him. <laughs> it was cute. Okay, so... I can't... This is where the way I came. I came from over there. Maybe I'll squeeze through here. Ah! Ah! Oh my, holy fuck, dude. Okay. Yeah, now you want to make me go buy it? How about you go fuck yourself, game? Okay, ready? One, two, three! Jesus Christ! My heart is beating so fast. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually shaking now. I'm actually shaking now. Okay, now follow me. Ugh. <sighs> oh, this game, dude. IGN set the bar really low when I kind of grazed through their review while I was taking a, a nausea break. And I was like, oh, that's a shame. Well, let's just keep going and see what, what it's capable of. Holy fucking crap. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck those are. Are they batteries? Candles? Fuses? Flares? Oh, what the fuck? I think we're evolving. And human beings are no exception. We're always evolving in the... We're at a stage now that we need to grow out of. <laughs> right? Humanity is uh, just uh, on a crash course to, you know, oblivion, you know? But people, I, everybody I talk to, I mean, everybody seems to know that, but nobody seems to be able to do anything about it. I just kind of accept the fact that, you know, we're all going to die one day and might as well make the most of it while we're here. Once you accept that, uh, that life and death are just two sides of the same darn thing, people don't have to live in fear anymore. I, uh, I'll agree with that. I will. Yeah. Just live the life, the life that you want. Nobody gives a shit. We're all gonna die anyway, so who cares? <laughs> oh, hello. I'm back to the. Stop it with that. Um, this. My reality is falling apart. Look at this. This can't be real. Okay, wait, do I go up or do I go down? Fucking stop with the noises. I feel like it's right on the other side of that fence from me. And I feel like I shouldn't stay. Okay. I'm just gonna go down here. Because in a horror game, you go down, right? Figuratively. Basically, the fuck? Oh, that's probably dangerous. Okay, I feel like I shouldn't get stuck in that. Maybe. That won't hurt me, will it? Okay. I don't know if that'll hurt me, but rather safe than sorry. More of whatever those are.
fuck are you doing? I still don't know if that electric stuff hurts me. Okay, come on. You got this. Maybe. you expect me to sneak around these things and don't give me a crouch button is really freaking me out right now, bruh. I assume I'm just following the electricity for whatever reason. supposed to do in this situation. There's like four of them out here. Shit. You gotta do it. At least now I know the electricity doesn't hurt me, so that's good to know, I suppose. both ways, then I'm straight up fucked. Okay, so th that was a checkpoint. Well, I got to watch the opening scene to Lion King and met Alfred Hitchcock. That was cool. Now let's try this again. <laughs> How long have I been going? Hour and a half. Wow, I've been going for an hour since my first break, and I'm not nearly as nauseous as I was for that first half an hour. 
I feel like I'm developing a tolerance to the mechanics of this game a little, and that's good. 